Hey, Jack Cooper team, I'm Lindley Davis. And I'm Lauren Canterbury. And welcome back to Let's Talk Jack. Before we get started, we wanted to remind you, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you're notified when a new video is released. As always, thanks for watching. Now let's dive into the next episode. team welcome back to let's talk jack did you happen to know that jack cooper offers a referral bonus program this applies to any jack cooper employee that might know or meet a potential driver who ends up hiring on at jack cooper today we're talking with a car hauler who was referred to jack cooper by another car hauler and here to share all about his story and his experience at jack cooper is brian mccabe did i say that right brian brian mccabe okay cool <laughs> well welcome brian Thank you, so, thank you. We're so glad to have you on the show. Uh, so just let's jump in. Um, you know, you have a really like amazing story on how you were referred. So I just wanted to give you the floor and have you tell us what happened. Well, I was in a, a Love's down in Texas and there was a Chinese restaurant right there. And I was parking in this car hauler. I was a skateboarder before this and a, a car hauler pulled up and uh he walked in front of me getting in, you know, he was just right in front of me. And then uh, he was sitting in a spot there. Were, there was no air conditioning in this place and he was right by the window. So he started coming looking for a darker spot. And I was like, hey, man, sit with me. And uh, turns out the guy's name is Charlie and uh, he's a fantastic fellow. Um, so he was telling me about Jack Cooper and, you know, the, all the that entails. And uh, um, so I went and. A couple months later, I went and applied and talked to Stacy, and, uh, you know, I ended up in Bowling Green because I wanted to be an over-the-road guy. And uh, so here I am. And then I put on the application. I, I forgot Charlie's name. And then uh, <laughs> you know, I, I put on the talk to a guy in Texas. And, uh, you know, then my, my second day in Bowling Green, this guy was sitting in there and I was looking at him like, dude, you look familiar. I know you're from somewhere. And it turns out it was Charlie. He's the whole reason you're there. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I did That's he awesome. buy you lunch? I think I heard that part. I bought him lunch. You bought him oh, lunch. Yeah, the way around. <laughs> oh, I awesome. see how it goes. Well, that's right? amazing. Yeah, I mean, he you know, he was a pleasure to talk to, and you know, he gave me a lot of valuable information and got the ball rolling, and you know, so I figured did that was ever... worth it. Did you ever think you about having a career in car hall or was it really like the conversation with Charlie that kind of led you into it? Um, well, my brother and my dad were drivers as well. Mm -hmm. And it was always my brother's dream job to be a car hauler. But, you know, he's like, Jesus, you got to wait till somebody dies to get into that thing. And then <laughs> uh, Char or Charlie was telling me, he's like, no, man, just go put an application in. And uh, I did. And the rest is mm -hmm. history. Yeah, I think that um, maybe people who aren't within the car haul industry think that you have to know somebody to know somebody. And um, mm -hmm. really, it isn't the case. We're like, come on, we welcome you. Let's go. Let's do this. So there's lots of opportunities. You don't even have to have your CDL. We'll sponsor you to go to CDL school in some locations to come and learn how to do it and, and teach you how to do it from the very beginning. So um it's definitely changed. Uh, the industry has changed and, and for, uh, you know, in a good way, in a good direction. So I'm glad that you're part of that. That's awesome. I love the story. My cousin Chucky, I'm talking to him about coming over right now. So, hey, yeah, referral, the referral keeps going. Keeps on going. The gift that keeps on giving. That's awesome. That's great. Well, how's it going so far? How do you feel about, you know, your job and career and, and what do you like about it? Um, you know, I think that there's a, a bright future ahead for it um you know the the benefits and you know the pay and everything is fantastic and I, you know like i said i'm coming from skateboarding you know i'm definitely not throwing 120 pound tarp above my head now um <laughs> you know loading these yeah. cars um, but it is a puzzle it is meant more mentally challenging um to have everything in the right place and yeah you know and i am i chose to come with the, the specialty car so i you know, made it as easy on myself as I could. <laughs> and the product's yeah. a pretty good product, too. Right? Yeah. Pretty fancy. <laughs> it is fancy dancing. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Yeah, well, we're so happy that you joined the call today, but really joining the Jack Cooper family um, and really hope that your story is going to help encourage others to refer more drivers to, to our team, to our family. So, uh, and no matter what their driving experience is. Um, so I know you said you haven't seen uh, Let's Talk Jack before, but it's tradition that we do a lightning round. And the lightning round, we just ask you a few questions and all you have to do is answer with the first thing that comes to mind. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma let's get ready. Let's all go. right. Born ready. Born ready. So, Brian, <laughs> what are you currently binge watching? Um, that's, I, I just watched the uh, first two episodes of Willow today. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, but it was nostalgia o overload. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, that's on my list, too. Okay, what is your dream car? Uh, 1966 Ford Mustang white convertible. Oh, I'm just specific about very that, huh? specific. You're ready. <laughs> You're ready. That's awesome. Okay, this is one of the most important questions that I'm going to ask you. What is your favorite sports team? I don't care about sports at all. Not in the slightest. So, so, so you could be a Braves you, fan. You could be a Braves fan, like Atlanta Braves fan. Well, you live in Atlanta. Remember. Okay, let's. I'll I mean, just take that as a Braves fan. If you can't tell, well, I mean, I'm I'm a Braves fan. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Oh, she awesome. has enough cheer for you as well. I have right. not, I have I have yet to have a contestant a contestant. <laughs> I've yet to have Where someone on here. I know, right? I've yet to have someone answer with Atlanta Braves on this on, on an episode, but it's going to happen one day. It's going to happen. Right. We'll see. Um at least I'm not cheering for the Mariners. So that's all I have to say. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a great lightning round, and we really enjoyed getting to know you, Brian. So thank you so much for taking the time to, to talk with us, and we're so glad that you're part of the team, and your story of how you came here is so unique and super fun. So thank you so much for all you do and all your hard work, and welcome to Jack Cooper. Thank you all. Yeah, Hope your day is fantastic. Bye. <laughs> Bye.